8700 has four manufacturing cells in the business unit. With this transformation, we're going to have eight manufacturing cells with their own standard product. We predominantly are grinding, milling, turning. With our new mill turns, we are going to be combining a lot of the operations that we do out on the shop into one operation. We really separated the product, the new cells by product family. So we have bearing supports, also known as squirrel cages, flowing through one line. Then we have a one, one and a half bearing support flowing through its own specific line. We have Toby's also flowing through their own specific line. It's very similar products flowing through the same machinery. So it's standardized tooling, standardized setups. Um, employees can really just change the material quickly and run parts through the cell. We basically are taking uh, some Flintstone wheel forgings, turning them down and into three operations coming out with a complete part. The part comes into the line as a solid donut. It's a big heavy chunk of steel. First off, finishes the entire profile of one side of the part completely, and we'll pallet out the machine, turn the part over, and finish the rest of the geometry in the opposite side. The parts are only going through three operations now. It's on two separate machines. Uh, we included a lot of on-machine deburring and a lot of on-machine measuring that reduces operator intervention with the part. The final process is a CMM inspection that's also included in the department that saves us a lot of time from having to send it to an outside department to inspect. So that increases our turnaround time by being able to inspect it and, and buy off our own material. It's a refreshing change from what we've had. The new equipment is going to make everything faster, easier, more efficient, more quality. Everything should be more repeatable and the goal is to get the parts out to the customer, make the customer happy and that's what we're shooting for. With all the new tools, the lean manufacturing and things, especially bringing in these new machines, it helps consolidate the operations and it's going to make things a lot smoother. The new machines, they have uh, probing cycles on there which takes out a lot of the thinking from the operator compared to the old ones and uh, makes for less uh, errors by the operator also. A new world, so to speak. But you get to take that positive attitude and uh, incorporate it into the machine and you have no issues. So it makes it a lot of fun. With the new machines, uh, instead of getting the pot, turning the pot, then sending it off to a mill, we'll be able to load the pot, turn the pot, mill the pot, and then the pot comes off the machine. Now we're able to do all these operations on one machine. We we have our engineering group right, right upstairs, and we have one particular engineer that comes down on a day-to-day -day basis and talks with us with schedule, with design issues, uh, with he talks with our customers to ensure that we have the right tools in place and designs in place to meet our delivery needs. The more major part of my work would be making sure that we get the manufacturing input in the design. So the big benefit of having engineers on site here in North Berwick is we're able to capture the knowledge that the manufacturing engineers have and, and all of the technicians that are making the parts and integrate that into the, the design and get the best possible product the first time through. Our new process now is EDM, Electro Discharge Machining. The way the process works is the part is located on a fixture on a rotary table the part is then submerged in dielectric and then the machine actually positions the electrode inside the part and starts to machine the part using electricity. What you end up with is essentially a control burn where you're actually eroding material using electricity and turning that material into carbon. When an operator has to run a job for a day, do a setup, run a job, do a setup, uh, you've got to have everything ready for them and ready to go. I used to walk, say, 30, 40, 50 feet in any given direction to find my tooling. We managed to get a hold of every tool for every jaw that ran through that standard work group. Organize it by partner. Now we have everything labeled. Uh, it's in its own slot. It's, it's not used for another job. It's specifically bought for my machine and my operation. Now I know right where it is. When I want it, it's there. It's taken as long to set up as it was to run the box. I, I'd say we probably improved our setup times and cut them in half. I gotta say, it's probably the number one thing in this company is safety. It's very open. The employees in the plant drive it. That's what's more exciting about it. I don't have to go around and supervise safety issues. 
They come to me with the issues, they bring me the paperwork, and I go forward and we get them fixed. There's a very, very small handful of companies that even have the, the, the capabilities to manufacture a jet engine, and, and it's, it's, it's very exciting to know that, that you're a part of making people fly. I take a lot of pride in it. It's, it's exciting. It's overwhelming to think where we've come from and where we're going. It's going to be a great feeling for everyone in the plant. There's a lot of enthusiasm in the shop. I'm really proud that when I go outside and I'm looking up in the sky and I can see a jet fly overhead, I know that there's a pretty good chance that I have my signature on some of the hardware that's up there flying. And I know that it's a safe product and I'm just delighted to be working in this industry. Everything we do from this day on is to make those parts quicker, better, faster, better quality, get them to the people that need them. We know what we're doing in 8700, we know who we are, the question is why are we here? And we're here to be the low cost producer in the world of making bearing housings, supports, and tow